Morning. The word of the day is provenance. Noun, place or source of origin. A jury before trial. And that is, the grand jury is just to make a decision on whether to file or not. Has nothing to do with... Showcase my work in Dubai. And Dubai is really far. It's like an 18 hour flight. And I got to showcase this collection in particular. So I called it Rich Girl because Dubai is like the richest city in the world. As you know, they have the tallest building in the world. They're, the police cars are like Porsche Lamborghini. Like it's very extravagant. And it's, it exploits wealth in such a big, big scale. You know, everything is made of gold. Your toothbrush is gold. Everything is gold. Some people think that an event planner is the person that comes in and puts these beautiful flowers on the table and designs all these things. That's an event designer. There's a difference between an event planner and an event designer. What I do is I listen to what the client wants and then I, I find all the people who can do what they want and bring them together. So I'm basically coordinating everything and making sure that I have the right people to give my customer what they want. My partner Tango. Okay. Most of, all of these dogs are dual certified with the exception of uh, Officer uh, Gonzalez. This uh, dog is just uh, apprehension, finding uh, subjects. The rest of these are, I'm sorry, and Officer Beck also is just uh, finding subjects. Uh, Officer Anderson and Linares finds explosives. Thank you to all the professionals who came out to PACE on Friday to share their experiences with the student body. Yes, I do. I have a, uh, a niece, Nicole Lyman, who is a senior, and I have a cousin, Brandon Cruz, who is a junior. I also have uh, my sister graduated from here uh, 10 years ago, and my brother graduated in 1991. Sadly, I graduated way back in 1992. <laughs> I grew up in Hialeah, where I attended St. John the Apostle, and ultimately came to Pace. Uh, growing up, I didn't really think too much about teaching, although it was probably in the back of my mind because my mom taught for you know, 40 years. So I knew it was something that I could ultimately do, and as once I got into college, things kinda, I kind of gravitated to the field of education. Uh, from Pace, I went to Florida International University, and, but ultimately my degree is from St. Thomas University. Coach Lyman, you are the Shakespeare of English teachers, and you're the best coach, best pitching coach in the 21st century. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication. I love you. Oh, Mr. Lyman, he's, our, he's my baseball coach, and he's a great coach, a really good pitching coach. You'll definitely, definitely learn a lot about pitching, and he's really good in the classroom. He's a good pitching coach. He's really chill. I mean, one, one of my favorite teachers. Um, obviously, he's a really good guy. Well, Coach, from the little time I've been here, you've taught me a lot of things, and I appreciate, appreciate you for that. Thank you very much. Keep it going. What I like about Lyman, you know, I feel like he's the most down-to-earth teacher at this school because he relates more to the students since, you know, he's younger. I've been coaching with uh, Chuck Lyman for many years now. He's, he's almost like a younger brother to me, a tremendous young man. Um, 
professional at, at, his, at his job. He's probably the one of the best pitching coaches in South Florida. And um, from what I hear, he's, he's a pretty darn good English teacher as well. Um, the thing that I think uh, Mr. Lyman brings to Pace is the fact that he's a Pace alum, just like myself and many other teachers here. He has a, a strong love for the school and for the students that he teaches and he coaches. Uh, I think he's an invaluable uh, asset to Pace, and um, I, I'm really proud to call him my friend and, and also co-worker. So, Mr. Coach Lyman, Mr. Lyman, Mr. Coach Lyman, whatever you want to call him, thumbs up to you. Keep up the great work, sir. Take care.